my brothers and sisters in the Lord, I greet you today in the name of Jesus. And I want to believe that we are waxing strong and stronger every day in our work with God. Amen. People of God, today I want us to be very sincere to ourselves and to God our Creator. Is there anyone under the sound of my voice right now that can say he or she can do all things by his or her own power without the help of God, without the hand of God, without the power of God in his life or her life? Can we really be sincere to ourselves and to our Creator God? Let me speak for myself. I know for sure that I cannot do anything without God. And that is why I need God in my life every single day, every second. I want you to understand that even the strength that carries me to move around every day, every second, every minute, to do things in my house, to go out to work is all from God. I can't do that without the help of God. I can't do that without the hand of God upon my life. For me to go to my bed at night and have a sound sleep is all from God. Just like the Bible says in Psalms 1 to 7 verse 2, it says, It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he gives his beloved sleep. So the Bible has made it clear to us that we cannot do anything on our own. If you like, you can wake up as early as you want and begin to think and trouble yourself over issues that is going on in your life, over issues that is going on in your family. Without the help of God, you cannot come to conclusion. Concerning those issues, you can never have an answer to those problems, to those issues in your life. The Bible also made it clear in that same Psalms 127 verse 2 that sitting up at night, late night, thinking, worrying yourself, troubling your life, and having sleepless nights on issues that are going on in your life is a complete waste of time. It is a complete waste of energy because your thinking, your worries cannot change those issues. Instead, it will make the situation worse because the next day you'll be weak. You will not be able to function well at work, at home. You won't even be happy with people around you because you are trying to carry a burden that is not yours. God also said it in his word. He said, Cast your burden onto me and I will give you rest. This means it is only God that has the power to give us rest over any situation of our lives. To give us peace, to give us strength, to take us through, to see us through over any situation in our lives and in our families. So we need God. We need God. In everything that we do, in our daily lives, we need God. In all that concerns us, we need God. Spiritually and physically, we need God. We cannot do anything on earth without God's help. It means I cannot do anything on my own. It means you cannot do anything on your own without the help of God. And this is why it's important we invite God into our lives. So our message for today is, I need God. You need God. We all need God in our homes. We need God in our endeavors. We need God in all that concerns us, spiritually and physically. Is there anyone under the sound of my voice right now that could say he or she has the power to do things on her own or his own maybe you have your own power to give yourself good health maybe you have your own power to create the air that you breathe every day every second maybe you have your own power to go to sleep and wake up the next day then i will say 
this message is not for you. But if you are depending on God, if you need God to look after you, to look after your loved ones, then join me. Let's confess Psalms 16 verse 5 to 11 together. Psalms 16 verse 5 to 11 says, You, Lord, are all I have, and you give me all I need. My future is in your hands. How wonderful are your gifts to me. How good they are. I praise the Lord because he guides me. And in the night, my conscience warns me. I am always aware of the Lord's presence. He is near and nothing can shake me. And so I am thankful and glad and I feel completely secure because you protect me from the power of death. I have served you faithfully and you will not abandon me to the world of the dead. You will show me the path that leads to life. Your presence fills me with joy and brings me pleasure forever. And I seal this confession with a big amen. Yes, people of God, this confession is for you and I that know that we cannot do anything without the help of God in our lives. And I want to assure you that God will never leave you nor forsake you as long as you know that you need him, as long as you depend on him. To see you through in all circumstances in your life and in your family, as long as you have confessed him as your helper, God will never leave you nor forsake you. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and all power belongs to him in heaven and in earth. I want to assure you that God never sleeps nor slumber. He watches over you day and night. He watches over your loved ones day and night. He knows all that you need to have a good life here on earth. God is all you need to take one step forward every day in your life, in every aspect of your life. And I want to say to you today, my brothers and sisters and the Lord, whenever challenges arises in your life, remember, you need God to overcome them. When sickness comes, remember, you need God to recover. Whenever you have financial challenges in your life, Remember, God is the answer. When you're trying to move forward in your life and it seems like there is no way, remember, God is the way. When all hope is gone in your life, remember, God is the father of hope. In whatever circumstances, challenges you will find yourself, remember, you need God to overcome them all. And remember, with God, all things are possible. All things are very easy with God. And when you have God in your life, you will not struggle to move forward in every area of your life. It is important that we also allow God to take care of us and not trying to play God in our lives. When you begin to think and worry so much about what to do when situation arises in your life, and in your family. It means you are trying to play God in that situation and knowing quite well that your effort will give you zero answer. So learn to depend on God, learn to reference him as the only helper in your life and in your family. And by doing so, you will have a fulfilled life here on earth, amen. And my prayer for you today is whenever you need God and you call on him, he will surely, surely answer you. When you need him to open doors for you, he will do so. When you need him to bless you financially, he will do so. When you need him to bless you maritally, he will do so. When you need him to have mercy on you, 
he will do so. When you need God to protect you, he will give you protection. When you need God to protect your loved ones, he will surely protect them. In any area of your life that you will need God, God will surely be there for you. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. And remember to always call on God whenever you need him. This is a short message that I have for you today. It might be short, but it will be very effective in your life. If only you can learn to put God first in any situation that you find yourself. Amen. Amen. I love you, but remember, God loves you more. And he's waiting to hear from you whenever you need him. Amen. Subscribe and stay connected with us. Bye for now.